it is here. Eric told us it was going to be here. Initially, it was just a little bit of snow, but now we're seeing that ice start to build. That's right. We're going to get right to our chief meteorologist now to have a look at what's happening out there. Eric. Yeah, we're in the midst of what I would argue is going to be the worst part of this. From now through the next couple of hours, through 3 to 4 o'clock, you can see our very colorful radar still there. In purple, radar thinks it's sleet. In pink, it is freezing rain, according to radar. That distinction happening right around the metro of Rochester with ice pellets north and freezing rain off to the south. Here's the catch with that, and a lot of you, our viewers, have actually helped us with this through the course of the night. Radar is only somewhat guessing where it thinks that is occurring, but we know that is not true. We know that the freezing rain is falling well north of that line, so there are more versus less of you right now that are in on that pink color versus just the sleet, which we would prefer. Much less issues with that. Off to our west, we've got a burst of heavier stuff headed our way. This is going to be midnight. This will be 1 a.m. Because we know that is coming. We've upgraded now how much total ice we expect out of this for parts of the area, and this could include close to Rochester. You may end up a lot closer to half an inch out of this with an increased risk of power outages. That's the bad. I do have some good to talk about moving forward, too. We'll break that down coming up. All right, Eric, we will be paying attention, and as we said, Road crews were out earlier to try to make sure to get out in front of this with salt and um, plowing, right. but it is still having an impact out there on the roads and in the airways. Absolutely. Heading over to the Rochester Airport, the departure and arrival board. It is a mess right now. Joining us live, Christian Garzone. Christian, before we get to the arrivals and departures, you and I were out salting just a few minutes ago. That ice is very real. <laughs> Yeah, Adam, conditions have gotten a lot worse out here. Ice has started to form, and that's the real danger here. Take a look if you can. We're going to try to zoom in on some of the conditions out here, the roadways and the ice that's still a bit slushy here, but it's going to harden up as the temperatures drop. Uh, meanwhile, the weather here and outside our area has had an impact, like you said, at the Frederick Douglass Greater Rochester International Airport. Cancellations aplenty this evening. Of the 15 planned arrivals after 8 p.m. tonight, 11 were canceled, and tomorrow morning, doesn't look any better. Of the first 16 flights out, 12 have been canceled. And of course, driving is not great right now. This is not a time to uh, be taking it fast. Uh, do not even think about tailgating. That's how a lot of these accidents happen. Just take it slow. Uh, have emergency supplies with you just in case. Have a little shovel, some salt in the car. Even cat litter, I'm told, works very well in case you get stuck. Uh, we're going to monitor all this throughout the county overnight and into the morning. We'll bring it to you on News 8 at sunrise. For now, live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Teresa, right back to you in the studio. All right, Christian, thank you. It is just amazing to watch how it changes. I mean, you told us very, about the change. Quickly. Yeah. And watching the changes even outside the window right now, you see the trees that are slowly starting to bend a mm. little bit. And knowing we still have mm -hmm. more ice on the way, I think the cascade of maybe some damage or outages could start increasing here in the coming hours. And, and you really saw, just with the patio shot there, the effect that the salt has. Fortunately, it isn't too cold where it doesn't work. Right. You saw the pathway that it created. So if you can, get out there and that's salt great. now. Problem is, trees and power lines don't get salted, and that's the issue yeah. tonight. And we'll continue to follow yep. the uh, outage with RG&E.